Hi, welcome to my first tutorial. My name is Julia. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the polymer clay colored pencil and artist palette set. This tutorial was a request from a comment that I got on my tiny cute kawaii polymer clay video. Let's get started. Your materials you'll need are polymer clay in two colors, a color for the colored pencil and brown for the wood. If you have a moon shaped cookie cutter that will be helpful but it's not necessary. It will just make cutting out shapes a little bit easier. You'll need acrylic paint in the color to match your colored pencil choice. It's good to have a nice set of wire tools. You also need a head pin and a razor blade. I use really, really small paintbrushes to paint my faces. That way I can get good detail. Um, the colors that I use for my faces are black, white, and pink. Okay, let's speed things up. The first thing you're going to need to do is use your razor blade to cut a rectangle of the colored polymer clay you like for your colored pencil. Use your fingers to squeeze it to the correct width that you like for your colored pencil. Use your razor blade to make nice, clean, sharp cuts at the edges. We always want to have clean cuts at the edges so that polymer clay can adhere to polymer clay. Use the brown colored poly polymer to make the wood feature of the colored pencil. You're going to use your fingers to shape it into a cone and just press it onto the color. Now we're going to add the detail on the back of the colored pencil so it looks like it's really a colored pencil. Flatten out a small piece of brown and use a circle cookie cutter to make a tiny little circle that will fit on the back and with a tiny piece of polymer clay to match the colored pencil color get it on there we're going to affix this to the back after we adjust it a little bit there you go now you can see it I use the back of a wood tool to just push that polymer clay in to make sure it's stuck in there now this is going to be the back of the colored pencil now for the tip of the colored pencil, I'm using a piece of polymer clay, the color of my choice, to make another small cone. It doesn't look like much yet, but it will. Use your fingers to squish it until it's a cone shape that you like. Cut off the tip of the brown. Cut off the back edge of the pink cone that we just made. Now you're going to press those two flat edges together. Now we need to sharpen the pencil, so use your razor blade on each of the four corners from the tip cut all the way down to the edge of the brown. You can fix it while you go if you make a little mistake. Polymer clay is very forgiving. I just flatten the edges up a little bit with the edge of my cutting tool and now push the detail into the back of the pencil and I'm going to just use the back end of a clay tool again to squish it in there so it won't come out during firing. Time to make the finding or the piece that you can use to hang it from a bracelet or necklace. You take a head pin and bend it. Now use the tip of the pliers to turn it into a loop or an eye, like the eye of a needle. That's why we call it an eye hook. Clip the edges so that the eye pin is the desired length and just press that down into the the back of the colored pencil. You're going to want to push it straight and also push it down so that the no edges are showing through at the side of your polymer. That wants to you want it to have be all the way pushed down so that it, there's no chance that it'll fall off of your bracelet or necklace or whatever you're going to be hanging it from. After you fire it, you're going to use acrylic to paint it. I use black for the eyes and black for the mouth. The tiniest brush is the best brush. I put a little spot of white in each of the eyes. That gives it a little more life and sparkle. And I use a light pink color for everything's cheeks. If you have a tiny brush and you want to add more detail, this is where it comes in really great handy because with a teeny tiny brush, you can do teeny tiny details like eyelashes. Okay, now it's time for the artist palette. Take a white color and make it about the thickness of two quarters. If you have a cookie cutter, here's where it will help you to make the shape. By no means necessary. You could always cut out a similar shape by hand. Looks like a moon, but we want it to be an artist's palette, so go ahead and squish one of the sides and shape it to round it out, and the other side, uh, crimp it in so that 
it's more like the point is turned in on itself, like the artist's palette. It's hard to get your fingers in really tiny spaces, so I'm using the back end of a paintbrush just to smooth out that little space. It's the basic shape of the artist's palette. Use a color that's similar to the colored pencil color of acrylic paint and paint that on your artist's palette. You'll be doing one color for each colored pencil that you do. So that's pretty much done. Remember, you paint it after you fire it. Go ahead and make another finding. Push it into the edge. Remember to sink it down as far as you can. Once it's fired, you're going to put just a tiny little dot of quick drying glue. That way if the funding does become a little bit loose through wear, the quick drying glue will hold that in. Put a little dot on each of your pieces. And now you're on your way to creating your set. Go ahead and make whatever colors you like, have fun, and I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. If you'd like to see anything else, let me know. Bye.